Hi, my name is Mike Mangini, and I am here to tell you about my new drumstick by Vader. Although it's extremely unique and will take me some time to explain it all, my needs can't possibly be unique as a drummer. This is 2015, and the way that most people record, you have to cut through tons of tracks, and in order to be heard, you need a lot of head slap or transients to the hits, and there needs to be consistency to those hits. Otherwise, some of the notes get buried. This particular stick is very specially designed so it has a lot of throw, and the way that this occurs for you personally and for me is by changing the position of your fulcrum on the stick. In other words, the stick isn't designed just from thinner to thicker. It's designed in a specific way so that if you move the fulcrum just a little bit, the entire feel and throw changes. That brings about why it's called what it's called, uh, which is the Wicked Piston. Uh, being from Boston, and that this does have the throw of a piston, I think it's the perfect name. Now, I think Wicked Piston is the perfect name for this, especially, you know, with one of my needs being the consistency, whether it is I'm twisting my body from a beat into a drum fill and back to a beat again, where one hit cannot be too much softer than the next, otherwise it doesn't get heard. or when I use multiple stickings and whipping around the kit, where especially if I play a double stroke, they're really not real double strokes. They're like two single strokes in order for both notes to be heard. And I'll show you both of these examples. A couple other special qualities about this stick are, first of all, the acorn tip. That's really important because when smacking a drum, you inevitably pit the drum heads. Um, the acorn tip pits less than a rounded tip. Some other qualities about this stick are the length, how it's balanced, and how it's cut. With the length, you can move your fulcrum up the stick if you don't want it to be so top heavy without worrying about not being able to reach things. That's not going to happen with a regular length stick. The stick will be too short. Another thing is that if you hit, um, uh, let's just say, in the middle of a beat you want to do a stick spin and your fulcrum is positioned where it is, pretty much getting it to the center of the stick is very easy and this stick is very balanced. One good thing about that is that it doesn't have that floppy look, and I know I'm not a stick spinner when I'm on a large kit like this, like I am when I'm on a smaller kit, but I'd knock into everything if the stick was out of balance like that. Finally, with the cut of the stick, uh, again, being not just it's thin and then thick up here, um, the question to me is, why would somebody flip their stick around? Like, what's the point of choosing a tip? What's the point of even choosing that stick if you're going to flip it and play it the other way? Why not just design a stick that has the feel you want by flipping it, which is top heaviness, by giving it top heaviness? Plus you have the acorn tip, you don't pit, and that's how you play the stick. It's how it's designed. Stick flippers, to me, want to get that top heaviness, but then the sound changes a lot when you hit the metal. Another quality with the stick is that it's not just designed from thin to thick to make it top heavy. In other words, one of the things about playing beats or getting the consistent hits on the snare while you hit rim shots and non-rim shots. Now, if the stick was too top heavy, it would break, especially when you hit a rim shot. But this one is designed such that there's a nice area of contact that has a similar sound to it. So you actually have a little bit of leeway to move around and strike the drum. The 
whole thing about this stick being adjustable, just in small little increment moves with your fulcrum, that's so important is that that relates to the real human element of having a relative perception or a relative subjectiveness. We all have it. You can feel differently one day. For example, I have been handed sets of sticks being told what the weights were and reacted to that as if I, I trusted that information I got. For example, if I was told, okay, Mike, here's a pair of 77 gram sticks and a pair of 67 gram sticks. In my mind, that 67 gram pair of sticks is going to be lighter, and I have done it. I've said, oh yeah, although that's too light. Oh yeah, these are heavier. And then been told, no, they're exactly the same weight. And the same thing has happened to me live, where the sticks are picked and placed for me, and I'll swear that one is lighter or heavier than the other, and what I'll do, which is whacked, is I'll keep flipping them between hands, and the one in my right hand will always feel heavier some nights. Nice. So this is real stuff that goes on when it matters the most, when you're on stage. And it, this is not just a unique thing to drummers, we're not all that crazy. This is for me when I play sports. You know, I have kids and we have a garage full of different sports balls, soccer balls, like the pink Dora the Explorer ball from Stop and Shop, you know, a lot of different footballs and sizes. And especially with the footballs, the air leaks out of the seams. And we couldn't figure it out because I've been through, what, four ball pumps in 10 years, but the air actually comes out the seams, which is, you know, you don't see that or notice that. The point is when you pick up these different sports balls, you could be told that the weight is one thing, and your mind plays with you based on that information when the reality is that you feel differently different days and just simply can't really tell. You need science to measure it. And you know, science is part of why these sticks are so consistent, as well as Vader's quality control. So all I have to say is that this stick does everything you could possibly want it to do, and really there isn't one thing left out of the mix with this stick. And again, because it's designed for throw, especially adjustable throw, and because I'm from Boston, this is the Wicked Piston. So there you have it. Those are some of the attributes of the Wicked Piston. Head on out to a store and pick up a set and have some fun with them.